Hi guys, welcome to this fourth tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with MPLAB XC8 compiler. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use a seven segment display. Seven segment display is the earliest type of electronic display that uses seven bars, basically is eight bars if we've got we're gonna use a decimal point in a way that can be used to display numbers from zero up to nine. These devices are commonly used in digital clocks, electronic meters, counters, signaling, and other equipment for displaying numeric data only. A seven segment display is not different from an LED by turning on appropriate segment, we can display any digit from 0 to 9 and optionally the decimal point if it's used or if it's needed. Seven segment bars are commonly referred to by the letters A up to G. This figure shows the different segment that form a seven segment display. We've got seven, the segment A. It normally started A on top. This is B, this is C, D, E, F, G, and the decimal point. If I want to display the digit one, I'll have to switch on segment B and segment C only and leave the rest off. In this figure, all the segments are switched on to display the number 8. In this figure, only segment A, B, C, D, and G are switched on to display the number 3. This segment display can be used to display some letters, but this is really limited. For example, if I want to display the letter B, I can switch on the segment C, D, E, F, and G to display the letter B. If I want to display the letter F, then A should be on, F should be on, G on, and E should be on. Seven segment displays are available in two configurations, commonly the common anode and the common cathode. In common anode, all the anodes of the internal LEDs are grouped together and should be connected to the positive supply. And the individual cathodes are connected to the individual pin of the microcontroller. To switch on a particular segment, we will have to supply a zero to that specific cathode. Let's say if I want to display, I want to switch on the segment A, because it got already a positive supply, then all I need, I have to supply a zero from the microcontroller so that the circuit can be closed from the positive supply through the microcontroller to the to, to ground. In common cathode, all the, cath all the internal cathode of the LEDs are connected together and should be connected to ground. To switch on a specific segment, then I'll have to supply a 1 from the microcontroller to a specific segment. Let's say if I want to switch the segment C, then I should supply a 1 from the pin of the microcontroller and the path of the current is going to be from the, micro, from the microcontroller through the C segment to ground. This circuit shows how we can connect a 7 segment display to a peak microcontroller. This is a common cathode seven segment display. All the cathode are connected together to ground. As we have learned from the previous tutorials on how you can use, how you can connect an LED, each segment is gonna need its own series resistor. To switch on a specific segment, then I'll have to supply a one through that pin. Let us create a simple digital counter 
that can count from 0 to 9 when switch 1 is closed and when I open switch 1 the counter should stop and display the last digit and when I close it back then the counter should resume from the previous count. Before we start our project the easiest way to display a number on a 7 segment is to find a way to determine or to look up the pattern corresponding to the digit to be displayed. This can be something like a table showing numbers and the corresponding segment that should be turned on and off and the corresponding number that should be sent to the port where the display is connected to in order to display a specific number. The corresponding number can be either in decimal or in hexadecimal or even in binary. It's up to you. This simple table is a lookup table that can be used to display digit from 0 to 9 in a common cathode configuration. The first digit to be displayed is 0. To display 0, all I'm going to need is to switch on segment A, switch on segment B, C, E, D, and F. Only segment G should be switched off. So the corresponding number in binary should be 1111110. The equivalent is 3F in hexadecimal. To switch on the digit 1, the first segment, segment A, should be 0, and only segment B and C should be switched on. As you can see, the easiest way is to use binary numbers because you can see exactly which segment you're going to switch on or off. To switch on 1, it's only segment B and segment C. The corresponding digit, the corresponding number in X is 0, 06. To switch on the number 2, it's going to be segment A, B, C should be off, D should be on. E should be on, F should be off, and G should be on. To switch on 3, this is the corresponding hexadecimal number, is 4F, and so on. Okay, I've started a project. The first thing to do, I'm going to define SW1 for my switch, and my switch is going to be connected to port C, 0. Then I declared an array variable for my lookup table. This is going to represent all the digits that I'm going to use and their corresponding hexadecimal values. The first digit is 0, which is 3F in X. 1 is 0, 06, and so on. Okay, this is straightforward. Set my port B as output because my seg 7 segment is connected to port B. And I set port C0 as an input, as an input because I'm going to connect my switch on port C0. I set to use the internal oscillator. Okay, I declared my char digit. This is going to be my array index. Then in the endless loop, I say if switch 1, it's, it's 0, which is basically when I close switch 1, I create a small delay, 100 millisecond. This is basically for switch debouncing to make sure that the switch was closed. I say again, I check if the switch is still closed. Then I can output to port B the value of my seven segment mapping table. Then if switch one is still closed, then I can output to port B the value of my lookup table. My lookup table is going to start at index zero. Because digit is 0 at index 0, which is going to be 
3f and 3f is gonna represent zero the seven segment is gonna display zero after one second delay i'm gonna increment my array index the the next index is gonna be one which is gonna display one the next index is gonna be two and so on so it's gonna display from zero to nine then I'm gonna say if digit is greater than nine, then I can reset it to zero. So when it's gonna reach nine, it's gonna start to, to zero again as long as switch one is still closed. But if switch one is open, then I'm just gonna display the value, the current value of the index of the array. If the array stopped at five, then I'm just gonna display five. So this is a simple and straightforward code show you how you can use a seven segment display it's straightforward the easiest way you you create a an array variable that is going to represent your digit and you can use them the way you want let's go to our circuit diagram and simulate our circuit i'm gonna press start as you can see the switch is closed so it display two at an interval of one second. If I open switch one, then the last displayed digit is gonna stay there. If I close it again, then my count is gonna continue. And if it reach nine, then it's gonna start at zero again. To learn more about this tutorial, you can go to interfacing seven segment display with Peak microcontroller on Student Companion. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive future tutorials. Thank you.